All right, hey guys, how is it going? This is Mark from visualeffectspro.com. Today I will be showing you how to create realistic textures in Element 3D and what to look out for when purchasing or downloading free texture assets. As you can see in this example, this whole scene is um, done in Element 3D. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on just creating the ground. Here's another example where you can see this is done in Element 3 as well. Let's get started. All right, so before going into After Effects, you want to be downloading your textures. There's a very good site called Quixel.com where you can get very high quality um, scans. When you download these textures, you want to make sure that you download the right ones for Element 3 to work. So you want to download your albedo or your diffuse, um, your ambient occlusion, your displacement, your glossiness and your normal map. If you can find the normal map, you can go into Google and you can search for normal map generator. You import in a black and white image of your diffuse or even your specular map and it's going to generate a normal map for you. So once you downloaded this map, then you want to go into Blender. So once you're in Blender, then what you can do is press A and X, delete everything. Then you will press Shift A and create a plane. Then you want to press Tab and then right click, subdivide and subdivide it with around 25 cuts. Then you want to go into your modifiers. You want to add a displace. Then you want to add a new texture. Then you want to go down to textures and open uh, the displacement map you downloaded for your texture. Then you want to go back to your modifiers and you want to add a subdivision surface. You want to move it up to be above your displace. You want to adjust your strength to be around 0 point maybe 5. And then you have to add quite a lot of subdivisions to it file should be alright. So once you've baked in your displacement you can just go ahead and press some file, export and obj. Alright so once it's done you go into After Effects, you create a new comp by pressing Ctrl and N, then you want to press Ctrl and Y or you can go up here for layer and new and solid and just make it change the name to element 3d press ok then you want to go into effects and presets and search for element then once you have that you go on scene setup and you want to import the obj you saved from blender there it is you can click on normalize size um, there's going to be some issues with the back of it so you can go on the material last advanced tab and check on draw back faces there you go all right after this you can go back into the um, material type um, leave it on physical shader then for the diffuse you're gonna want to be importing your albedo or diffuse texture there we go then we have our glossiness our gloss map we also have our normal map and we have our ambient occlusion there it is so when you import it it's gonna come as a 500% on the glossiness you want to change it to around 100% so you can also change your glossy map to be more reflective by changing the um, exposure and then by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Alt and C or you can also go into the layer, new camera you can create a new camera you want it to be a two note camera and by pressing C you can change the different um, settings and how to move within that camera there we go and this is our imported um, surface texture from Quixel all right, and that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to check out visualfxpro.com. We also have a Black Friday sale going on right now. So 75% of all products. 
So don't forget to check it out, wijfxpro.com. Thank you.